your reaction or your golf swing has been a, uh, a real exciting project to be involved with. You know, getting a lot of people emailing you with videos and stuff from that. Oh, it's been good. It's good. been a lot of fun. In the course of doing that, and we talked about this on our uh, Skype call and stuff, there's been a lot of discussion, Tony, and this is going to be all about the downswing direction. So uh, we know that the sequence that you like is is arms, body, club, ABC. Uh, but with that, people are saying, okay, they, they're convinced that the arms should go first. First of all, before we get into that, let's get into a little short recap on why should the arms go first. Okay. So we'll never see that in video. A little closer, Jack. Okay, it's, it's a motor control perspective that we need to take. But I think the simple analogy is if you take two airplanes and two, two fighter jets and they're staying in formation, okay, the relative speed of that outside plane has to be faster than the speed of the inside plane. So when we get up to the top of our backswing, yeah. if we're taught to just drive the legs, well, that doesn't move my hands and club very well. So yeah. now the body's completely out of position and I'm just splashing with my hands, trying to get them to do whatever to get the club back to the ball. You're here, here, here splash. splash. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and gotcha. it's just, just trying to catch up. So the ABC was more of a perception motor control. So we really want to feel like those arms are driving it, you know, and the body's going to move. It's like, the, you know, if, if I'm lifting a weight, if I'm standing here and I'm lifting a weight, and the research has shown this, and everyone, and we actually asked the school this, yeah. well, what's the first thing to move, or to activate? They said, well, in order to, to do that, I had to do something with my shoulder, my delts, in order to raise this up. And it actually was the hamstrings, the left leg hamstring, to actually activate prior to any movement we saw with the weight. So if we had electrodes on us, EEG, EMG. If we had EMGs on us all over in the different parts of our muscles and we said lift this up, this would light up first very quickly before this. Yes, in order to keep ourselves in balance. So some of the anticipatory kind of muscle activation we have in order to maintain balance is as I work my arms, we have all this reacting in order so I don't fall over. Yeah. And that's the reason why we use flamingo drill and feet together as, yeah. as a base of support. So, as I'm working my arms, this is all functioning. We, we don't really need to think about it, but we do need to make sure that once the arms run out, okay, well, I gotta keep moving through the shot. Now that's where the body and the ABC came from. So when we talk about arms first, that really is a motor control direction for you to give your, your body to get in great sequence. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So a lot of people, Tony, uh, with, with when I see them trying to do arms first, there, a lot of them are, are thinking like, okay, I'm in this like baseball throw, and they they try to throw, or they try to uh, skip a stone. You know, here, what is the direction the arm should move on the downswing? So let, let's look at it from down the line because I get the best perspective. Yeah. So the problem is when people throw, they're still using that their overhand kind of mentality. mentality. Yeah, right. So okay, I'm gonna throw. Well, that's overhand. That's still body first. So really, the throw is this forward. Kind of diagonal adduction, this pull with the right arm. I mean, it's a pull because that club head is behind it. I'm pulling and throwing this way. So some of the, the throwing and different things like that are just more cues that people have in order to kind of make facilitate that happen. But it's really more of I like to think about it is we're just getting out into this position, whether we do it fast, but uh, to a face on Jack. Okay. So show us, uh, yeah, so show us that position you're trying to get into. So we want to make sure once we get up here, and obviously it changes once we put left hand, but that right arm is just throwing that club right to here. So it's not a downward motion this way, it's a forward motion to here, and that's the reason why we want to keep full extension, so that wrist is going from extension to flexion right to here, so which is obviously after the ball. So we, this way we maximize the club head speed, and really, the, it starts slowing down after the ball. One thing I've noticed with guys when they do start getting spinny from the top and more of an overhand throwing thing, if the handle starts here at address, then they do that, it's a lot higher and they're having to exactly. go like that. Yep, exactly. So that gets that almost over the top type move. Yeah. And the better golfers will then do what? Drop that shaft in. Yep. And now where's this club going to actually go? It's going yeah. inside out and ball goes right or ball Shanks. Yeah, that's Yeah, right, just from having it out. Okay, so let's get into drills. 
for you to get your career. So we know to get our sequence better, really the arms have to feel like they're going first. What are some good drills to get the, the correct direction of how, of how the arms should move in the downswing? The biggest thing is to realize where do we want this ball to go. So to me, I like to think of it, you know, have golfers do this, put a ball out in front, and we're just trying to take that club and throw it right through that ball. Okay, so I'll try this, Tony. Okay. Let me throw that here. I'll take that one. Um, so it's, so we set up a ball here. Can you see that one, Jeff? You can use the joystick to tip. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So, so we set up a ball here about, that's about a foot in front. Inches, yeah, right, foot yeah. in front. So I'm set to this ball. And what's my idea? Your idea is can we get this club head to be really trying to almost hit that ball? I'm stepping back here. So get the sensation of the hit being there. Being there. Right, because if I was just thinking, if I was really ball bound and I was thinking just that one, I might hit it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But if I want to be to there. Yeah, see that gets you now through the shot, so that way we ensure that that body motion goes right through it. There you go. Oh yeah, and it's much less, because a lot of uh, golfers, we see a lot of uh, sawing. And so then if you saw it, look at how the path of that club comes yeah. off this line, and now that club's going to be over here instead of over there on top of the ball. And it really, from our perspective, it looks like it's over the ball, but obviously down the line perspective, you would still see it. It would be slightly inside because of the inclination of the club, but it's still the idea is we're going to see that club head right up over the ball right here. So it's not physically on that ball. So to actually hit a ball doing this, we could do maybe a tee? You could do a tee, exactly. Okay, so we'll put a tee here, and this is something you guys can try at home. I'll hit this one. So we're going to go yeah. really get the sensation of hit out there. Correct. You like straight. That was long. Yeah, that was good. 10, 110 club head speed. Yeah. 357 carry. You guys <laughs> just have to take my word for that one. <laughs> so uh, no, so all right. So what's a, what's another good drill for people? So that sawing thing and and swinging lead doesn't because nobody's trying to really do. There are some guys trying to do that, but a lot of the golfers aren't trying to do that. But. Th that that's the result of uh, poor intention. Correct. You think? Correct. Yeah. So a lot of times, again, when you start driving the body to try to bring this club down, because the shoulders and the body work, let's say, on this plane or in this inclination. Now, if I control it, well, my arms and everything else are going to match up to that. They're going to work up. Yeah. So the club is down here. Yeah. So we have to make the arms work differently than where the body is designed to move. Yeah, you got to almost train yourself when you're practicing to get away from throwing overhanded like this and really get this underhanded Correct. extension and flexion kind of there you go. Like this. Yep. One more drill, Tony. Maybe something that people without even being on a driving range like at home in the living room could do. I, I think, you know, flip the club upside down. Yeah. You know, and really start working on because we want to make sure there's speed. So get the idea that you're trying to really get speed and extension out here, out in front of you. So that way, right hand, right hand only. Right hand only. That way, we get the body involved too, because we need the body involved to keep that going all the way through, and make that whip and that sound really happen. You know, almost waist high. Even I would I like to say it almost waist high. Yeah. Near waist high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, you know, just something you talked about before. Like, impact is here, but because by the time impact happens our neurons and wherever else like the sensation of impact then gets to our brain by the time the club is actually okay. out there correct right. so we, we got that 200 millisecond so delay so by time we feel impact we're already over here anyhow yeah. so that's the reason why to kind of put that into play is realize let's get through there then that just again i like it gets the guy to be involved bound so work on your swing direction guys not just your sequence but the the direction that you're you're swinging in and then I would say, you know, for the people that slice, then go ahead and, and move that T maybe out to the right a little bit and create that inside out path in order to do that. So, so yeah, we hear a lot of, some of them I want to talk about, we hear a lot of swing to first base of uh, traditional golf instruction. But when people try to do that, you see a lot of first base yeah. like this, like up and out of it. You're saying get the, your whole intention to get that club out 
two there. Yeah, it's more the second. You know, yeah. it's it, we only want about five degrees to the right. So yeah. if you know, using the baseball analogy, second base would be straight. We're only talking five degrees to the right, so it's even, you know, left of the, the second baseman. So it's like where the second baseman would be if he's anticipating a double play. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, really appreciate you guys getting involved with Be Better Golf and everything else. Tony's at ReactionaryGolf.com. He's available on Inside the Golf Lab. Tell people about that a little bit. So Inside the Golf Lab is your opportunity to kind of dive into more of the research. Now, the benefit of that is not only the information that to clarify and clean up your swing to simplify, but it also allows to do video analysis. So using the Huddle app, we can communicate back and forth, and this way we can give you the right feedback to what you're doing to improve your game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Click Thanks, like Jeff. and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks to Jack for filming this video. We'll decide later if he did a good job. <laughs> See ya. Bye.